Mmm. Mm. Ryan, you're your ego. Mm. Ryan. Uh, Ryan. Uh, Ryan, what, uh, what are you uh, doing? Nothing. Nothing. What are you talking about? What is that? Nothing. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Ryan, that better not be. Ryan, that better not be shite. Is that shit? Look. Oh, look. Look. Oh, are you eating shit, right, Ryan? Right, no, Robert, look, I, they said, oh, Christ, they said they've changed the recipe this time, so it's a wee, it's different, it's different. They've changed the recipe. You'll never learn. They've changed the recipe. You'll never learn, will you? Oh, eating yeah. shit. Oh, Jesus. All day, every day. Jesus Christ. How many times? Oh, it's How just. How many times you eating shit? Do you know, it's just a different kind of experience, Robert. It's just a different kind of experience. Oh, Christ almighty. Oh, it's shit, though. Oh, oh, I'm eating shit. Well, I personally thought that that intro was very unfair. How do you know it's shite? How do you know it's shite? Well, we are about to find out. Detroit Become Human is the new David Cage thing, that man that does those things. And here's another of those things that he's done. This is Kara, she's an android. And I was trying to figure out how to get into this wee uh, music box thing here in this kid's room. And the kid literally put the key in my hand and then showed me the box. Unfortunately, while this was happening on screen, I might have been checking my phone and just left the room without checking the box. That'll happen. David Cage game, that'll happen. You can't be expected to watch all of this. Can't be expected to happen. Here's some of the gameplay. Oh God, you just map out what you're going to do from usually a choice of two things and then it'll show you the cutscene. That you that you've supposedly mapped it. It's good. It's, I don't want to be a, a look. I don't want to be a gameplay snob. It is what you expect it to be. It is what you expect it to be, and that's why this is tricky. I've missed the bus then. Missed the bus. Fade to black. God, it's boring. It's really boring. And here comes the bus. It's ten hours long this game. And the androids ride on the back of the bus. Because David Cage is a very skilled and a subtle craftsman. Creative craftsman. Let me just come back to the writing at a later, later, bit, later stage. I've got a list I'm working off here. Here I am with Clancy Brown, the Kurgan from Highlander, who puts in a really cracking performance, a lot of cracking performances in this game. He's what He's the best. And I'm trying to endear myself to my new partner here, and I'm trying to figure out what can I say to this man to endear myself to him. And, and, and me, the human, I'm overthinking it, because I'm thinking, what type of character is this? But I'm forgetting that this is written by... I'm talking about the writing again. This is written by a fucking idiot. So all I have to say is, I like dogs. Do you like dogs, Clancy Brown? And he goes, oh, I, I like dogs. I like you now as well. Fucking video games, mate. Can he beat it? In fact, fuck it. Fuck the list. Fuck the list. Let's talk about the writing. So among the topics that are, t I almost say tackled, they're not tackled, the topics that are touched upon, the topics that are used, the topics that are played with by this fucking, people call him a hack, people say that David Cage is a hack. Calling him a hack unnecessarily muddies the water, he's not, the definition of hack is too complex. David Cage is just fucking shite. He's shite at what he's supposed to be able to do. And among the topics that are used and touched on in this game are racism, segregation, death camps, domestic abuse, child rape, mass graves. It's all in there. My God. He must be a very skilled storyteller to be able to get through all of that. In 10 hours, all the hot potatoes. In 10 hours. Nah, you know why all of those heavy... Hot potatoes are in there for the same reason that he skips from character to character all the time. Because he's not a good writer. He doesn't have the requisite skill to explore one subject. So he grabs frantically at all these different branches. How the fuck is he getting away with it? Such a fucking embarrassment video game sometimes. How does he keep getting... Well, the only thing that this proves, I think, is that there's an appetite for these games. I say, how does he keep getting away with it? That's three times now I've bought a fucking David Cage game, so I'm part of the problem. It only proves that there's an appetite for this type of thing, but this guy is stinking, man. It's... It's... Look, I can't believe how... I, I don't want to talk about other people's reaction to this game, but this is the world we live in now, I suppose. Here's my hot take on other people's hot takes. I can't believe how easy people have been going on this game because it's fucking vile what the guy does it's fucking disgusting 
the way he just uses these, like, titillation. He's dog shit, man. He's dog shit. I saw my partner had collapsed on his kitchen floor as I was trying to gain entry to his house. The character in the game went, oh no, Hank is dead in his kitchen. And I went, I bet he's drunk. He probably tried to kill himself while he was drunk because I remember Mel Gibson did that in Lethal Weapon. So David Cage is probably copying that. So I did that as soon as I saw the first shot of the guy sitting on the flare, but David Cage takes about fucking two hours to tell you where he's stolen his ideas. So every single scene in this game, I'm no exaggerating, every single scene, every single scene is something you've seen before. The guy is fucking chronic, man. He needs to get to fuck. Also, I'm carrying Lance Hendrickson to the toilet here, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to see his withered old bumhole. And then it just cuts away. It cuts away and I don't even get to see it. Fuck you, mate. Get out of the fucking industry, you cunt. I'm fucking sick of it. 50 fucking quid and I didn't even get to see Bishop Phelan's fucking bumhole. Fucking rip off. It's not even about androids. You fucking tricked me, you prick. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, mate. How can I help you? Uh, uh, hello. It's, uh, I'm, uh, I'm afraid it's my Dreamcast. Dreamcast? Oh, yeah. Remember that one? Yeah, remember that one? What's the problem now? It's, I'm afraid it's still a little bit faulty. What have you done to it, mate? We had that fully fixed. I re-skinned the whole thing. 1,200 quid. Bish, bash, bosh. It's all sorted, that. I've, uh, well, I've been... Well, my, my mother has been playing uh, Dead or Alive, and uh, uh, she likes to go to the ladies, and the, 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 the ladies' bosoms. They're still a little bit glitchy, you see. Listen, mate, I hope you're not blaming the game mechanics here. Uh, I'm not blaming the game mechanics, certainly not. I'm not blaming the game mechanics, but it's just that their bosoms are a little bit glitchy. I'll tell you what, it sounds like you're blaming the game mechanics here, mate. I think I'd like to see a manager, because it simply won't do. It's their bosoms. Well, yeah, I can see why you want to see the manager, because I'm just the handsome game mechanic, aren't I? So I'll, I'll go and get the, the boss for you. Hey, uh, Rob, wait till you hear this, Rob. Got one of them idiots here. Well, well, well. Fucking hell. It's the tale as old as time, innit? Fucking beauty and the beast, innit? Blaming the game mechanics for everything. You know what I want to see more of on that TV? Fucking James Whale. Let me tell you something else. You come in here with your fucking dream cast. Like, we fixed it. This big fella fixed it. He's, fully reskinned, mate. Fully he's, a, reskin. he's the best fucking console fixer boy in the whole of South London. Top handsome game mechanic, me, mate. You come in here, you don't blame the game I'm fucking sick and tired. Are people blaming the bloody game mechanics for things? We've done nothing wrong! We pay our taxes! You know I want to see more of that fucking TV? That Gary Bushel! It's a fucking joke! It's a fucking disgrace! Don't think I need to tell you, mate, but you've upset the gaffer. Well, really. What a miss. I might have to get under this one, Jezza, get it cranked up! Oh, I can see what's wrong here. I'll go way back. Uh, Spectrum 48K, the Commodore, Big 20. Yeah, you know, this is all retro to this chap. And it's tough. You bring a kid in, it's full of dreams. Full of and then he has to read about game mechanics getting blamed for everything in this world. You talk to people and they say, yeah. oh, the game looks beautiful. Oh, it looks beautiful. What a shame about the game mechanics. And yeah. we're like, what are we fucking chop liver? Fuck you, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're like, we, we're, we're busting a nut here. Do you know what, sometimes I think we're a bit like a bass guitarist in a band or something. Like. Yeah, yeah, but if he was missing, if the bass guitarist was missing, yeah. he'd end up with fucking the arrestor. Eh, where's the game mechanics in that? Everybody's gone to the fucking rapture. No, where's the game mechanics in that? That's what you fucking end up with. Yeah, if if a song ain't got a fucking bass player, ain't shit, ain't worth nothing. Exactly right. Unless it's when fucking doves cry, the prince hasn't, I don't think that's got a bass. Maybe it is. I don't know, mate. It's like the White Stripes, a bit more mod. I was thinking, I don't, I don't know. He's in it out, red hot chili peppers. It's the White Stripes, it just gets confused with covers. Bit of colours. Hello? 
is continuity here. Uh, sorry to interrupt your viewing of a very funny joke about the game mechanic or something. I think I think that's what the driver now is a very thin premise. But a lot of people are worrying at the moment about the the privacy statements and the GDPR. A lot of companies trying to sort that thing out at the moment. Anyway, what I'm saying is, as a Consylvania Patreon, uh, you don't have to worry about the GDPR or nothing. I don't even know what GDPR means. I think it means get the privacy right or something but you don't have to worry about it because uh, nothing's going to happen anyway so why would you worry about it or, or something like that because in a way you know it's not like we know how much milk you want to have a bath it with or something useful like that it's just it's just a little bit of information so you don't basically you don't have to worry about it enjoy the show and don't look out of your window just now okay no problem okay no problem don't nothing gonna happen That's all right, my dear. I'm outside the world.